My name is Larry and today we're going to talk about basic track geometry. Track geometry is the layout of the horizontal and vertical alignment, cross level and super elevation of the track. Track is base upon which the railway runs. To give a train a good ride, the track alignment must be set within margins of the track design. Track design and construction is a part of a complex and multidisciplinary engineering science. The track is designed under standard geometry shapes. Curves and straight lines form the basis of the track with transitions forming a gradual joining of the two. Curves in the track are almost a science of their own. Careful calculations are required to ensure that curves are designed and maintained properly and that the train speeds are allowed to reach reasonable level without causing too much lateral stress on the track or inducing a derailment. There are both vertical curves and horizontal curves. There is also a section of track on either side of a curve known as a transition, where the track is changing from straight to curve or from curve of one radius to one of another radius. In tangent track, we speak of cross level. In transitions and curves, we speak of super elevation. Cross level is a name for the measurement of the vertical distance between left and right top of rails. Super elevation is a name used to describe the cross level angle of track on a curve, which is used to compensate for lateral forces generated by the train as it passes through the curve. In effect, the ties are laid at an angle so that the outer rail on the curve is at a higher level than the inner rail. Of course, there will usually be trains of different types, permitted speeds at different levels, which travel the same curve. Also, there will be occasions when trains stop on the curve. This means that the degree of can has to be fixed at a compromised figure to allow the safety of stop trains and the best speeds for all the trains using the curve. In practice, faster trains are allowed to travel around the curve at greater speeds than the equilibrium level offered by the super elevation setting. Passengers will therefore feel a lateral acceleration similar to what they would feel if there was no super elevation and the train was traveling at a lower speed around the curve. The difference between the equilibrium cant required by the higher speed and the actual cant is known as the underbalance or cant deficiency. Super elevation is measured either in degrees or in linear dimensions. On standard gauge track, six inches of super elevation is equal to six degrees. What does the tamper measure and modify? The tamper measures the following parameters. Horizontal alignment, super elevation, left and right longitudinal profile. What happens to the track geometry over time? Track geometry design is exposed to external influences such as traffic, weather, etc. The track starts deviating from the design. The standard track gauge, the distance between two rails is 4 feet 8.5 inches or 1435 millimeter. But many other gauges, wider and narrower than this, are in use around the world. Gauge is often intentionally widened slightly on curved track. Gauge is however not a parameter the tamping machine can actively modify. Thank you and goodbye.